And the guy, the guy wants to buy it. He wants to have NFL matches there. He wants to base an, an English-based NFL team at Wembley. But, you know, we've got Twickenham. Spurs' new stadium is supposed to be holding NFL matches. So why not base them there? Or the London Stadium. Or, like I said, Twickenham. Or just build a new stadium. Just seems really stupid. It's Wembley Stadium. It should be home to football and no other sport. Uh, Cogwhistle, TK Bomber, welcome to the stream. Feel free to say hi, join in the conversation. Uh, if you want to request a song, if you wait in the... Uh, well, sorry. If you take part in the conversation, you will earn credits, which you can then use to request songs that are playing. I'm to make it at the moment so that you don't have to be in the stream long to to clock up lots of credits. But I will change it for next week maybe. There's loads and loads of games that I want to stream over the next few weeks. So I will be uh, increasing the uh, the number. Alright, what's this? Uh, tactical, yeah, don't need to worry about that. More clubs making offers for my players. I wish they... Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed by it, actually, because my grandparents live down near Haywards Heath. And I've been saying for about three years now that when Thameslink is finished and up and running, I'll be able to get on a train from where I am and go straight down to see them without changing trains. And likewise, they'll be able to get on a train there and come straight up here without having to change trains. It turns out that's not the case, because trains that stop at Haywards Heath do not stop at Hatfield. 
because uh, the Hatfield loop line goes down towards, I think it's Seven Oaks or Ashford. It might be Ashford actually. Trains from Hatfield go to Ashford, which is annoying because that's not what we wanted. I don't think anyone in Hatfield or Welling, for that matter, was sitting there thinking, "Oh, I really wish I could get a train straight to Ashford International," because we just get a train to Kings Cross and get on the javelins. Um, probably because of capacity. Because they're Peterborough to Horsham, or at least Peterborough to Kings Cross, uh, is on the East Coast Main Line, whereas Cambridge is on the Cambridge Line. I think it's just called. I think it's as simple as that. So between Hitchin and Cambridge is just two track, whereas between Huntingdon and London. It's four track. So there's more capacity on the line between um, Peterborough and London than there is between Cambridge and London. I think also because Peter. Actually, I mean, Cambridge has bay platforms. I might say Peterborough has more facilities for um, terminating trains, but that's not true at all because Cambridge has two bay platforms on the uh, southern end. I don't know fully yet whether Great Northern services are actually being taken over by Thameslink or whether Thameslink is being brought in to supplement Great Northern. position swings it in very nice cross Wilson with the header what a finish that was good team goal again 
Drewson really is our dark horse player. He's the one that you just wouldn't expect to, to pull it out the bag like that. It's a good ball over to him. And when he brings it down here, particularly at this point here, you think, oh, maybe he's overrun it. And then suddenly he just whips it around the defender. Straight onto the head of the striker. Trains running on the other routes. They couldn't get any more 12 car trains to run it any more than 60 minutes. They could just use the 8 car trains then. I don't get that as a, a reason because they ordered the trains like 3-4 years ago. So they must have known how many they would need. But then this is Thameslink Great Northern, so or Thameslink Go Govia Thameslink Railway, whatever the company's called. Bloody clueless, whoever they are. Oh, three 0 Wilson again. Line. Yep, Drewson. Pulls it across. Parsons with the header back to Wilson. Volleyed it into the back of the net. Yeah, pretty much all the Thameslink trains have been delivered now. So there's no, there's no excuse as to why they can't run the services they've promised. That sounds like a real mystery to me. Well, I know how the trains work. I know that there's 8 car and there's 12 car. But when they were ordering the trains and designing the timetable, they must have allocated different length trains to different services. So the 12 cars will do these ones, the 8 cars will do these ones. So if they're now saying we haven't got enough trains to run the service every 30 minutes, then someone's messed up somewhere. Like someone's not done their job properly because they, they ordered 115 new trains. Uh, was it 55, 8 car and 60, 12 car I think it was? I think that was the ratio. So they, they ordered a fixed number of trains with fixed number of cars per train. So they must have known when they did the ordering. So someone's cocked up massively. Alright, 4-0 half-time. We are absolutely running away with this. McConnor might have missed the easier chance beforehand, but from that free kick, he smashed it straight through the crowd into the back of the net. Now he can switch to the ultra-defensive. Douglas Pringle has come on to play centre-back for Drewson. So Holland, Cartwright and Douglas Pringle now playing in the back. Jones on the left, uh, Ming on the right, midfield three of McConnor, McGregor and Green, and then Parsons and Wilson up front. I don't think Bauer's going to come off the bench for this game. But he's getting experience, that's the main thing.
Uh, all, all the core stations are obviously able to accommodate 12 car trains. Um, and then the main stations on both the Bedford route and the Peterborough route and of course the Cambridge route as well. They've all been lengthened to fit 12 car trains. At least 12 car trains because we were we already had 8 car trains running here. Um, so stations like Hatfield station is more than capable of accommodating 8 car trains. They might have added to put a little extension on for 12 car. I don't think they're that much longer. They're not as long as the... This is the weird thing. I don't think the Thameslink trains are as long as the Crossrail trains, from what I heard. Because the Crossrail trains, they're 200... The platforms are actually 240 metres long in the underground section. The trains themselves, are, at the moment, I think are only 200 metres. So they've put capacity for an extra two carriages, which would take them up to 11 car. They're 9 car at the moment. But I don't think Thameslink trains are as long as that. And well, actually, no, I think they they might be actually. That's the thing I don't know. I don't really know much about train length in terms of meters. I know I always measure it in car lengths, so it's a question of how long's a car. Alright, Wilson is definitely turning it up now. That's true. That is true. This is where the cultural differences start coming in. Because for me, I'm used to seeing eight car trains. Um, all the train routes out of King's Cross are at least eight car, pretty much. You have the six car from Moorgate. Um, which I think are still six car 717s they're going to be now. Uh, but then out of King's Cross, it's always... Uh, it's either three. Hang on, we'll get this right. It's. I think it's just two on all of them actually. The three eight sevens, the three one three six fives, the three one sevens, and the three two ones. I think they're all four car. The three two ones are three car actually. But it's basically between six and eight cars out of King's Cross. Um, but yeah, up north it's like two car, three car, four car. Yeah, forgot about that. Especially like living on the East Coast Main Line. It's all long trains, fast speeds, that kind of thing. There's like five different train operators now. That operate on the East Coast Main Line Southern section. So it's definitely a capacity issue going to be rising soon. Uh, they still have 317s, to my knowledge. But then, it, as I say, it's been a long time since I travelled on the train to London. Like last summer was the last time I went. So they might have got rid of them now. I know they're starting to get rid of some of the 365s, but not all of them. Uh, the three two ones. A lot of them have now transferred. But I think they've gone up to Scott Rail, and the three one sevens. I just go and wherever anyone will take them. To be honest, and hopefully the three one threes get gotten rid of soon as well when the seven one sevens come in. I will not miss the three one threes. They are very ugly to look at, and they are very ugly to ride. Awful trains. I don't think they're getting cascaded either. I think the 313s are going straight to the um, scrapyard. Good bloody riddance too. Just realise what song's playing. It's the old F1 theme tune. Alright, I haven't lost any more players since I started the stream, have I? Apart from Randall. He slipped out under the radar. 
Uh, Herod's gone, Sharp's gone, Stone's gone. Yeah, okay. That's all of them. That's cool. So there you go. Now we're top of the league. We have more staying power over some of the other clubs around us. So even our players with minimal loyalty are actually wanting to stick around because of where we are in the league. And, uh, you know, getting promoted. The uh, the seven hundred. Cemented his first team position. Oh, you absolute donkey. I got cocky. I didn't think he'd leave. I thought he'd be happy sticking around, but no, wrong. Well, Douglas Pringle gets to play some uh, some more football now then. I'm definitely going to try and tie down McGregor now then, because that's got me on edge. He doesn't count as one of the players that I'd try and hold on to though, because I didn't make him. He already existed. Yo yo. He's rejected. Right. Oh well. We got a match. We got a match. Southall. How's that possible? Oh, there's two teams that go up. Of course there are. 
Ah. So we're not far off sewing up the league. There's six games left after this one. Yeah, we're 11 points clear with 18 to play for after today. So assuming we win and second place wins, then we'll still be 11 points clear with 18 left to play for. So two games, three games. So three games after this game, we can sew up the league as well. But today we can sew up promotion. Cool. Let's do it then. As if the players needed an extra, an extra incentive, a chance of promotion. them with 10 songs each don't forget but do feel free to queue up some songs get a nice uh, mix of music rather than just the same things over and over well no, not the same things over and over again but the same genres over and over again oh bloody hell Parsons scored the equaliser and then he get, gets brought off straight after bet he's thrilled about that another four of Ichi songs Awesome. Oh yeah, we got a queue now. 14 songs. I'll give it a shuffle in a second as well. I'll give it a shuffle now so that... There we go. Give it a good old shuffle. So I don't think you guys get to see the queue like I do. So you see the queue in the order in which the songs were 
put on the queue. Um, whereas I see them in the order in which they're going to be played. There is a difference. Ball in. Dinsmore at the back post. Look at that. Green with a great assist. Uh, I'm not a fan. Play me Bruno Mars from like 2010 and I like it. Play Bruno Mars since Uptown Funk came out and I'll sh chuck the stereo through the window. Something about that song just changed him into a massive, massive egotistical idiot. Alright, come on boys. Score more goals. Douglas Pringle's injured, so Robinson's probably going to get brought on in a second. Green with a little reverse. Unfortunately, the defender got his foot in, so Dinsmore couldn't quite pick it up as intended. And that was not a very good ball into the box there from McConnor. I think it was McConnor. Alright, we need to tackle him. That's the way. Douglas Pringle, and he held off the challenge as well, despite being injured. McGregor back to O'Brien. Thumps it forward. Great pass to pick out Dinsmore there. Wilson went for the low one, just wide. <coughs> Big boom kick forward from their keeper. Douglas Pringle with the header. Four players went up for that ball. How he managed to win it, I do not know. Dinsmore now. Oh, just over. Just over. Unlucky. Hoping we'll grab at least one more before we go into defensive mode. Because they're going three up front, and that makes me a little bit nervous. It looks like we are just going to go defensive. Oh, Robinson's come on for Douglas Pringle as well. Good, good. Match plans doing their thing. There we go. Ultra defensive now. Uh, with Galliford coming on for his debut in place of who went off? Oh, Dinsmore. And then we concede. Of course we do. Poor Dinsmore. Poor Parsons as well. So Parsons scores. He gets taken off. Dinsmore gets brought on. He then scores. And then he gets brought off. Meanwhile, Wilson is just standing out there twiddling his thumbs now. Shouldn't we be switching? There we go. Trying to get back into this. Back into the lead now. I like this song. This is a nice song. I was brought up on music from this era. So when these films came out, I was in my element. Like most people my age were being introduced to this music for the first time, whereas I'd already like listening to it for twenty odd years. Ah, <sighs> two all draw. That's really disappointing. Really disappointing. I feel like that was, that was definitely two points dropped. We were in the lead. We were in control. And we just threw it away. Stupid goal from a set piece. Douglas Pringle is out for five to eight days. Galliford made his professional debut. 
Someone was spotted at the stadium. Go figure. At least that was one person who bought a ticket then. We got London Tigers next. So we played the Lions a little while ago. Now we've got the Tigers. We've set a new record for unbeaten. Don't you dare try and sign Green. He's actually been one of the best signings I've made at this level. He's really impressed me this season. The fact that he's keeping Johnston out of the team as well tells you all you need to know. I will bring Johnston back in soon. When he's learnt his lesson. Alright, everyone in the chat, you should have just been given five credits. So you can all put five songs onto the playlist if you so wish. Any songs that don't get played tonight, hopefully will be saved and used for the next stream. Um, which will probably be... And I might stream over the weekend. It won't be this. It won't be Football Manager. It'll be some other stuff. But maybe if I play like GTA over the weekend. 